Hi there. This is James, the Canadian comedian Cousinal. Some may know me as an actor, comedian, business person, writer, among other things. But what I'm here to talk to you today is about a notorious section of highway in the province of British Columbia, Canada, known as the Highway of Tears. What I describe as the throwaway ladies, which means that society has basically thrown them away. There's been a series of missing and murdered women along Highway 16 known as the Highway of Tears. And with that, over the years, it's become debated whether the numbers are as low as 14 to 20 or if they're higher than 40. It all depends on who you're asking. But regardless, the task force that was built to deal with these women, who many were Aboriginal or having substance abuse issues and suffering from poverty, went missing along the Highway of Tears between 1970 and today. If you go online and you search the Highway of Tears, you're going to find that these cases, many of them, are still open. There are persons of interest, and for other ones, there's not. But what they have in common is that many of them are still unsolved, and the resources have been dwindling away. At one time, there was up to 70 RCMP and police officers involved in the search for those responsible. That is down to about a dozen today, and maybe even less. So I'm here to remind you that as this holiday season approaches us, we keep all of those missing and murdered women and others in our hearts, in our thoughts, and in our actions. And when I bring up actions, I mean right to your MLA, to your MPs, to your mayors, to Justin Trudeau, and everyone else who will listen and insist that the task force be put back together and that more resources be brought in to deal with the lives or deaths of these missing people. Their lives should not be forgotten. The investigations should not be left as cold cases. With today's technology and the proper resources, some of these might be solved. And I say some of these might be solved because we don't know what all of the evidence is that the police have in their files. But hopefully they can reopen them and find any clues and use current technology to get some leads. I also encourage anyone in Northern British Columbia, not only along the Highway of Tears, but anywhere else, that may remember something that they haven't brought forward in the past. Please reach out. These families deserve to get answers. The memories of these ladies should be honored by diligently hunting down those responsible. In the new year, Propix Canada Media will be looking at doing a documentary to update you further on where the investigations and linked cases are at this time. We want to reach out to all of those involved. We want to get answers and find out where it stands and what's going to be done to correct this injustice. Just because they were marginalized, because they were stuck in poverty, because they were Aboriginal. These are no excuses to not give 110% and unlimited funding to resolve these cases. These people deserve that much. And I hope together we can put pressure on the politicians and the agencies to put these back as a priority to resolve. Please search online. Highway 16 or Highway of Tears, British Columbia, you'll find a lot of information. You'll also find out about the individuals. Because let's face it, these are people. 
These are our brothers, sisters, mothers, daughters. Everybody's connected in one way or another. And we need and owe it to them to come together as one to make sure that these cases are solved. Thank you. Wait.